Hello everyone, I'm glad to open this section of text analysis and understanding with the work that actually doesn't have any relation to this. Don't, don't be surprised. It's about the uh, disposition recognition or recognition of linguistics and disposition recognition in particular from the speech signal. Uh, Paralinguistic is such a core term that we use to describe everything that goes beyond the pure lexical content of the speech signal. This might be the affective states and emotions, different posodic peculiarities, speaker and traits, non-verbal events. In this work, I particularly focus on the first one, affective states and emotions from speech. Uh, what people usually do, they do the shank analysis, uh, shank level analysis, to recognize emotions where the shanks are utterances, phrases, words, and even up to phonemes. And feature vectors are usually, for these shanks, are usually extracted on the whole shank level. So we calculate different low level descriptors like fundamental frequency, energy, MFCCs, and so on, calculate their derivatives, and then apply a bunch of different functional, statist uh, functional statistical functionals to that to obtain some static feature vector to describe the chunk somehow. This results usually in a large feature vectors and such approach has some of this, the following obvious drawbacks. First is the size of the vector itself, which might be a problem. Also, uh, we lose a lot of temporal information about the dynamics, speech dynamics. Uh, and the uh, most obvious the problem is that the subject approach assumes the equal importance of each voice frames of the chunk, which is not true for effective, re effective recognition from speech. There is a more clever way to analyze functional data provided by the framework of functional data analysis. Uh, among, among other, this framework gives us the functional PCA, which, like a regular PCA on scalar data, uh, gives us ability to capture the most uh, the major variation within the functional data uh, to estimate the functional basis of eigenfunctions and to represent any function with the corresponding eigenvalues. And the idea of this work is to use the uh, top 10 eigenvalues, or I call them harmonic scores, as the feature vector instead of, instead of functional <coughs> functionals. So the uh, proposed uh, framework was evaluated on the task of disposition recognition on the MRI corpus. Disposition is also a cover term that describes different dispositions of user towards systems. This might be uh, negative dispositions like anger, irritation, or positive neutral emotions. Um, the data from MRI corpus was collected during the controlled wizard of host scenario design in such a way to elicit positive and negative disposition. Here on the, uh, uh, there was a two stages that correspond to the uh, positive and negative dispositions. On the right figure, you can see the uh, instances of those classes built up on the three, the most informative uh, harmonic scores for a single speaker. This is just example. And the uh, proposed feature set was related was compared to the two baseline. First baseline is like more upper bound. It's a very rich uh, feature set from interspeech emotional challenge, uh, extracted from 16 low level descriptors. And the lower bound is the statistical functionals extracted from the pinch counter only. And you can see the proposed is, um, feature set is much more, uh, much better than the uh, functionals only, but still being behind the um, the reference set. Okay, and the last result is the comparison to the top 10 features from the reference set, which shows the almost equal important performance. And the, what, what is the more interesting that the combination of these two feature sets improves the both results. Thank you for attention. I would be happy to answer questions now or at the post. Okay, thank you very much.